bacterial genetics and mechanism of genetic variation. The genetic information in bacteria is contained on a single chromosome located in the cytoplasm of the cell. It facilitates the simultaneous replication, transcription and translation of bacterial genes that leads to phenotypic variation observed among bacteria. Although most bacteria carry all genes necessary for the survival on their chromosomes, many bacteria contain small additional genetic element called plasmids. These plasmids can reproduce autonomously and have an extra chromosomal existence in the cytoplasm of the cell. In pathogenic bacteria, plasmids encode for virulence factors and antibiotic resistance genes. Replication of bacterial DNA The process of replication of bacterial chromosome is semi-conservative in nature, that is, each newly synthesized double-stranded DNA molecule is composed of a parent strain and a newly synthesized complementary strain. Replication begins at a specific location known as origin of replication and it proceeds at the rate of 1000 nucleotides per second. The process is coordinated by two key enzymes, DNA helicase and DNA polymerase. DNA helicase unwinds the two parent DNA strands of the double helix. Both the strands act as a template for the synthesis of new complementary strands using the enzyme DNA polymerase. Later, the ends of a newly synthesized complementary strands are joined together by the enzyme DNA ligase forming circular chromosomes. Transcription Transcription is the synthesis of mRNA complementary to the DNA base sequence by the enzyme DNA dependent RNA polymerase. The RNA generated is known as messenger RNA or mRNA. The RNA polymerase enzyme separates the DNA strands and synthesizes a complementary RNA copy from one of the DNA strands which is called a positive strand. The mRNA synthesis begins when the RNA polymerase enzyme align opposite to the exposed base sequence that are complementary to the promoter site on the parent positive strand DNA. Once mRNA is generated, RNA polymerase enzyme detaches from the parent DNA molecule and double helix is formed. Translation The process of protein synthesis in which the genetic information encodes on mRNA is translated into the sequence of amino acids on a polypeptide chain is called translation. The process depends on complementary base pairing between codons on mRNA and anticodons on tRNA. Ribosomes bind to mRNA and move along the molecule in 5' prime to 3' prime direction until it reaches a start codon. It further catalyzes the formation of peptide bonds between adjacent amino acid and move along mRNA molecules synthesizing a polypeptide chain until it reaches a stop codon. At this point, translation ceases and polypeptide chain is released. Genetic variation Genetic variation leads to two types of variants, phenotypic variants and genotypic variants. Genotypic variants are produced either due to mutations or transpositions or recombination. Mutation It is a sudden, stable and inheritable change in the cell's chromosome. Mutation can either be caused spontaneously or can be induced. Spontaneous mutations are the result of rare mistakes in DNA during cell division. Mutations can also be experimentally induced by physical, chemical or biological mutagens. It results in a genotypic and phenotypic changes which may be beneficial or damaging. Spontaneous mutations are caused due to rare mistakes that occur during DNA replication or movement of transposomes. Rate of this type of mutation varies from 10 to the power minus 4 to 10 to the power minus 6 mutations per gene per generation. Many of the spontaneous errors are repaired by different mechanisms available within the cell. 
Induced mutations are caused mainly by radiations like X-rays or UV rays. The ionizing radiations break covalent bonds including those in DNA and are one of the leading causes of chromosomal mutations. UV radiation causes purines and pyrimidines to form abnormal dimer bonds and bulges in the DNA strand. Types of mutations Transitions In this type of mutation, a purine is replaced by the purine or a pyrimidine is replaced by another pyrimidine. There are four ways by which transitions may occur. Adenine can replace guanine and vice versa or thymidine can replace cytosine and vice versa. Most of the transitions result in synonymous substitution. Transversions in transversions, purine is replaced by pyrimidines or pyrimidines is replaced by purine such that adenine can get replaced by thiamine and vice versa or guanine can get replaced by cytosine and vice versa or adenine can get replaced by cytosine and vice versa or guanine can get replaced by thiamine and vice versa. Transversions mostly results in non-synonymous substitution. Both the types of mutations come under the category of point mutation. Based on the reading sense of codons on mRNA, mutations can be categorized into non-synonymous missense mutation. In this type of mutation, there is change from one amino acid to another. In the image, we can see there is transition mutation from AT to GC resulting in changes in the codon that change amino acid lysine to Glutamic acid. Next is nonsense mutation. In this type of mutation, there is a change from an amino acid to a stop codon. In this image, there is transversion mutation from AT to TA, resulting in changes in the codon from lysine to stop codon UAA. This will stop the further extension of polypeptide chain. Neutral non synonymous mutation. In this type of mutation, there is a change in amino acid to another amino acid with similar chemical properties. In the image, we can see AT to GC transition mutation that changes the codon from lysine to arginine. Here, the protein function is not altered. Based on the changes in the leading frame of codons on mRNA and changes in the functional properties of protein generated, mutations can be categorized into Synonymous or silent mutation. In this type of mutation, change in codon is such that the same amino acid is specified. Image shown here is an AT to GC transition in the third position of codon. This will generate codon that encodes lysine and not affecting the function of the protein generated. Second is the frame shift mutation. Addition or deletion of one or a few base pairs leads to a change in reading frame. In the image shown, there is an insertion of a GC base pair that scrambles the message after glutamine. This will lead to translation of incorrect amino acid that is stop codon generating shorter polypeptide or lead through of stop codon generating longer polypeptide. Such mutation alters the function of a final protein. Deletion Deletion is the form of mutation in which the part of chromosomal segment is missing. It starts with chromosomal breaks induced by heat or radiation, virus, chemicals, transposons, errors in the combination. Deletion don't revert because the part of the DNA is missing. Inversions Inversion is the form of mutation in which the part of the chromosomal segment excises and reintegrates 180 degrees from the original orientation. It is of two types, pericentric inversions in which the segment of the DNA undergoing inversion includes the centromere and paracentric inversion, the segment of DNA undergoing inversion do not include centromere. Inversions generally do not result in lost DNA but the phenotype can gain if the breakpoints are in regulatory regions. Transposition or translocation The next phenomenon of genetic variation is translocation or transposition. It is a change in location of chromosomal segment. There is no DNA lost or gained. 
it is of two types intrachromosomal translocation in which there is a change in position of segment within the same chromosome and interchromosomal translocation in which there is transfer of segment to non homologous chromosome the next cause of genetic variation is via recombination genetic recombination occurs when sequence of dna from two separate sources gets integrated this new genetic sequence may be introduced by transformation transduction or conjugation the changes that occur in the combinant genome are inheritable transformation transformation in bacteria was first observed in 1928 by frederick griffith it is the process in which donor dna molecule is taken up from the external environment or from live donor bacterium the dna after entering gets incorporated into the genome of the recipient bacterium this process is often used to introduce recombinant dna in bacteria factors affecting transformation are dna size and state that is the donor dna is either sensitive or protected from nucleus competence of the recipient that is whether the recipient competence is natural or induced transduction it is the process in which dna is transferred from one bacterium to another by means of a phage transduction was first discovered by zinder and lederberg in 1952 transduction that takes place during the lytic cycle is called generalized transduction during lytic cycle the virulent phage acts as a vector so that dna derived from any part of the host genome may be transferred whereas specialized transduction occur when a template phage or prophage is induced to undergo a lytic cycle due to the exposure of mutagens template phages affect transfer of only those bacterial genes that are adjacent to the prophage conjugation gene transfer from the donor to the recipient bacterium by the direct physical contact between them is termed as conjugation it was discovered in 1946 by joseph lederberg and edward tatum the process has been studied extensively in e coli bacteria two strains of bacterial cells participate in the process they are f plus male and f minus as female f plus strain are the source of donor dna the fertility plasmid or f factor f minus strains are recipient cells that don't have f plasmid f plasmids are circular double stranded dna molecule 99.2 kbp in size they contain genes required for plasmid replication and tra genes which are involved in mating pair formation transfer of f plasmid from f plus to f minus cells during conjugation f plus bacteria synthesize a pilus called as f or sex pilus the pilus can get attached to f minus bacteria and through it the genetic material can transfer from f plus to f minus bacteria one of the strand of f plus plasmid dna is unbounded and is passed to recipient f minus bacteria in which a complementary strand is then synthesized once the new f plasmid is formed the recipient is converted into a f plus bacteria during conjugation plasmid dna is the genetic material transferred however the chromosomal dna can sometimes be transferred especially when f plasmid is integrated into the bacterial genome when f plasmid integrates at specific sites in the bacterial chromosome a high frequency recombination strain is formed During transfer of genome from HFR strain to F minus strain, the gene closest to the F factor origin of replication are transferred first. Only the part of the bacterial chromosome may be transferred to the recipient bacteria, as it will take up to hundred minutes to transfer of complete genome. But it is not feasible. The partial segment transferred must be combined with the recipient chromosome in order to sustain. resulting in the new phenotypes in recipient bacterium during hfr conjugation the recipient cell do not become the f plus cell although the process of conjugation is most frequently associated with gram negative bacteria it can also occur in gram positive bacteria this is all about the basics of bacterial genetics to keep updated with more such videos 
subscribe and like my channel. Thank you.